Joel Castellanos of the University of New Mexico, and this CS for All video is on how to download and install NetLogo on a computer running Windows 7. I'm going to start by opening up an internet browser, Internet Explorer, and my home page is a Google search engine, but from any search engine, type NetLogo. And the first hit is the NetLogo homepage. This is not needed, so I can just close it. I'm going to download now. As we work with NetLogo, we'll be writing programs, and sometimes we'll make mistakes in those programs. When there's a mistake, often the program will what computer programmers call crash. That crashing doesn't hurt the computer. You can write lots of programs that crash all the time, and it'll be fine. But this stage that we're doing right here, downloading software, is something that if you download malicious software, malware, software written by people who have malicious intent, you can harm your computer. So it's important whenever you're going to be downloading software that to install on your computer that you make sure that the site is one that you trust. A malicious person trying to trick you into downloading malicious software or malware could make a website that looks just like this one. They could put this graphic up here and this text and design it to look just like the real site. Uh, one way to check one way to check to see that this is really the site that you want to use is to go up to the address bar and look at the URL or Universal Resource Locator. This is read back to front. This last part is the directory on, on a particular system. And this EDU in the first part means it's an educational institution, Northwestern University, uh, CCL. If I were to take off the net logo part of the address, we could go to the home page of the CCL, or the Center for Connected Learning. And this is at Northwestern University. And I could take off the CCL, even, and just look at Northwestern's page. This is the valid site, the right site for NetLogo. And I'm going to go back to my NetLogo page and click Download. Again, I don't need this. We're going to be using NetLogo version 5.03 in the CS for All course. That's the current version as of December 2012. That's the latest version. Even if a newer version comes out during our course, we're still going to stick with this 5.03 for the duration of our CS for All course. Here they're asking for your name, organization, and email. You can type your, your real name, organization, and email if you want to get notifications of updates or you can just type in fake information. It doesn't have to be a real email address. That you can download the um, NetLogo without verifying an email address. I'll type in my name, Joel Castellanos, organization of New Mexico. Email joel at unm, oops, unm edu and then come down here and click download. I'm using Windows system, so I'll download the Windows version. If you were using a Mac computer, of course you download the Mac version, and the procedure is essentially the same as what I'm doing here for Windows. Irene Lee has made a video specifically for downloading and installing that logo on uh, Macintosh. I'm going to continue with Windows, click download. Ask me whether I want to run or save. I'm going to run the installer. And then it starts downloading. After the download is finished, this setup dialog should be displayed. And I'll click Next for installing NetLogo 5.0.3. And this is showing me the destination by default where it's going to install it. This is going to install in the C drive in Programs directory, which is fine for me because I have administrative privileges on this computer. If this is a computer that you don't have administrative privileges on, it's, it's a school computer and you're maybe not, you may not be able to write to this programs directory, then you could browse and select a directory where you do have write permissions. And I'll click next. Create uh, something in the start menu. Again, if you don't have, if you don't want something in the start menu, or if you don't have administrator privileges, you would want to uncheck that and click Next, and wait for it to install. 
do 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 bar is almost finished then I click finish and I should have NetLogo on my computer so I can close the browser go into the start menu and all programs I'll scroll down and find NetLogo there's three programs in here there's HubNet which lets us write Net program, NetLogo programs that work across the network and this is really fun students love this the NetLogo 3D we will use some of later on we're going to start with NetLogo the base and if I click that, open it up. Woohoo! It opens. Welcome to NetLogo. In the next CS for All video, Irene Lee will be showing off the interface of NetLogo and describe the various windows that are here, these tabs, and the menu options. For now, I'm going to just to check that everything is working. I'm going to go to Modules Library, which when you download NetLogo automatically this library of modules is is installed and under sample models I'm going to select biology and in biology there's this ants model click open and this is a model that we'll be looking at in a later video for now I'm just gonna we'll look at the details of it and how it all works for now I'm just gonna give it a quick run and everything's looking good so see you next time Bye.